Margaret, welcome to the show. Thank you. I will say a few things I know about you. You are a mother. Yes. And you live in Kampala. In fact, you just live outside Makere University. Yes. Usually when people think about biogas, mm. they think it's for people in rural areas. Mm. How come you decided to use biogas in the middle of the city? In my home, I've got about three cows. And those three cows, they give me a lot of cow dung. So one of my boys told me that you will, you will, you will get a lot of use when you turn this cow dung to the biogas. At that time, did you know how you were going to turn it into biogas? No. Uh -huh. So what, what, how, did, how did you turn cow dung into biogas? Mm, that boy brought me the experts. They come to my home. They explained to me. So I got interested. They told me, you can, you, you can contribute about one and a half million. Then the rest, we shall help you. So 1.5 million is what they asked you to, to pay? Yeah. And what do you mean, the rest, we will help you? The rest, of the, the, the rest of the amount of the money which is going to finish the whole work. Okay. Okay, so uh, compare the time when you were using uh, whatever it is that you were using before, mm -hmm. and then when they set up this biogas plant for you. What, what has been the difference? Yeah, there, there is a lot of difference because I use this biogas at my home for cooking, for light, for getting manure, and even not to quarrel with the neighbor of just putting cow dung in their plantains. But now the challenge would be Yes, the neighbors are not quarreling because the cow dung is not going to their home. You're using it for creating biogas. Yes. But the cow dung is still in your home. Isn't that creating a foul smell at your home? It doesn't. How come? I, I used to, to, to clear my place where my cow are. And there is no cow dung, which you can see. They are all in the hall. Most people do not live on their own piece of land. Do you have any clients who are tenants building, using biogas on their, uh, on their landlord's piece of land? <laughs> <laughs> well, we normally don't get that information, mm. but the issue is when we come to talk to you about biogas, we are telling you a system that's going to be in place for 25 years or 30 years. So in most cases, you have to fix it in your land. And uh, if you're doing such investment to overcome the initial cost, you have to look at long term. Okay. Yes, so you're not going to put it there for only one year or two years before your landlord chases you away. So if you don't own the place, talk to your landlord and tell them it is the best way to go. Let me have a, a response from Susan here. Thank you. If I might add to that, because of the PVC digesters, one of the big, big advantages is that you can actually move it Okay. So even when you are in a, if you're renting your land, it's not a problem. If you shift, you can just empty it, you can take it with you and install it at your new site. Also, there are alternatives that can be moved from one place to another. Definitely. Okay, thank you very much.